Hi everyone. Uh, today we'll see uh, one more uh, important interview question called dynamic file generation. So I can say that so majority of the interviews they're asking this question. Okay, so I think uh, people also experience this because if you go to 10 interviews out of that five, six interviews, they ask this question. So the question may be like this. So one is, can you tell me or can you explain dynamic file generation? Or else they can give a scenario and they can ask the question, can you tell me how to design a mapping for this? Or else they can they can ask about the file name port. So can you can you explain how to create it? Uh, different files based on that file name port or something they can ask. Okay. So the major question here is dynamic file generation. Okay. So I'll just give a scenario here. So based on that, we'll see how to generate a file. Suppose let's see now, I have a three columns, employee ID, sorry, four columns, let's take now. Employee ID, employee name, uh, uh, location. Okay, so we'll take a three columns here. So employee ID one, two, three, four, five. Employee name, so A, B, C, D, E. Location, yeah, let's take Bangalore, Bangalore, HYD, HYD, Chennai. So they may give a scenario also like this. Okay, so the scenario will be here. So I want to generate a file based on the location okay so suppose in future one more record got added Pune, employee number six some name is like this then also you should generate a file for Pune, separate file for Pune. okay so they may give scenario like this so based on the location i want to generate a file so based on the location that means this will be one file and this will be other file and this Two will be single single that means here one file here one file and here one file here one but all four files will generate based on the source data okay so this is the question so how to achieve this the first thing is just import your source and second thing is before you import your target into the mapping designer so just go to target designer drag and drop your target, double click on that, and there will be a file name port, that means F port will be there, just click on that. So automatically it will add a file name port. Okay, so once you add the file name port, then you come back to the mapping designer, you drag this target into your mapping designer. So source and target is ready, and what you have to do, your source is a relational, okay? Remember, your source is a relational. Then use order by class, order by class in source source qualifier over and query and sort the data. Your source is a flat file. Use a sorter transformation here and sort the data in ascending order. So once this is done, you add one expression drag and drop all the columns, three columns here. Just add to one column called location is equal to V location. Okay, that means what I am doing here is I am creating a variable port. So variable port what contains location is equal to location. So this is the, okay. So this is the column. This is the variable port, okay. So what exactly we are having here? So location is equal to V location. This is a flag. Okay. Okay. So this one is a variable port. So what exactly we are doing here? We are comparing by using this, we are comparing the previous row with current row. Okay. We are comparing the previous row with current row. That means any change in the previous row with current row. If there is a change, 
Okay. If there is a change, so I'll give you this validator. Well okay. So first what we'll do, we'll just use a flag if by using a IIF function, if there is a change, then I'll flag as a I'll flag as a one. If no, I'll flag as a zero. Okay. So this is the main thing. Only this thing you have to remember in final time vegetation. Okay. So this is the case. So if there is a change in the previous row, so when it will change? So if this is same, no? If this is same, here, here it, it changes. So if it is same, continue the transaction. We are going to give up that. If it is same, continue the transaction. If it is different, then generate a different file. Okay, that's what the condition we are going to use. So here, flag is equal to this one. IIF function I'm using, if location is equal to uh, variable port location, that means if it is, okay, if it is matching, so let's let me give like this. If it is not equal, okay, if it is not equal, then flag value will be one. If it is matching this two, then it will be zero. Okay, I, I think everyone is understood the flag. We are going to give like this location, of this and the variable port. Okay, let me clearly explain this one. Maybe many people are confusing this point. Okay, so location this value directly from the table. So V location contains V location contain is equal to location. Okay, this is the condition in this variable port. So now what we are doing this location and this variable location is not matching, then flag value will be one or else it will be zero. Okay, this is the condition. Where we are giving this one in expression. It's the only thing you have to remember in expression. So remaining all the three ports, drag and drop it. Okay, so this flag value, I am going to pass it to transaction. I, I think everyone knows that, right? Transaction control is a transformation we have. Transaction control. Just to take it, but remember, if you are using this flag concept, absolutely data should be sorted. If you are not sorting the data, this concept will not work. That's, so that's the reason I'm clearly saying here, your source is a relational, use order by class. If it is a flat file, use a sort transformation and sort the data. So if you are not sorting the data, absolutely this concept will not work. Okay, that is the key point you have to remember. So in you also will confuse candidates, we lost this one only. So whether the data is sorted or not. So many people are forgetting this concept and saying that the flag, they, they simply explain this flag, but they, they're not sorting the data. It never works. Okay, so you have to remember, we have to sort the data before performing this flag concept. So once you've done that, <clears throat> all the three ports, employee ID and employee name and location and this flag, you pass it to transaction control. In transaction control, you use this one. If flag is equal to one, what exactly this mean? There is a change in the previous row and current row. You can take this as an example. That means location got changed. That means for this one, it should be a different file. So if it is same, continue the transaction. That means it will be same file. So if flag is equal to one means there is a change between the previous and current record. So absolutely it should be a different file. So if you, write this condition in the transaction control. Sorry, there's a spelling mistake. Okay, so if flag is equal to one is nothing, but there's a change between the previous and row and current row, then TC commit before, else continue transaction. Just you, you forgot, right? Just you by had this condition. So only <clears throat> you have to remember this condition only. That's what I have highlighted here. Okay, so only thing you have to remember is source before creating a Mapping target, you go and add the file name. That's the first point you have to remember. Second thing is you have to sort the data. You have to remember. Third point is use this flag. If that location is not equal to previous location, flag value will be one. Fourth one, in the transaction control, you have to use this. If flag is equal to one, continue, sorry, commit before or else continue the transaction. So what exactly this means? There is a change in the previous own current or generate a different file for that. 
So in these four points, you have to remember, that's it. If it is done, then you connect to target, okay? And this flag value, you so this value you can connect to the file name port and you can execute that. That's it. So what are the transformations you have used here? You have a source, source qualifier. So sort a transformation for sorting the data. Then you have expression for flag purpose, then transaction control and target. So this is the flow if anyone asks. So you can explain this is the flow currently what I am using to generate a dynamic files. So if they ask, so you can explain one by one. So source qualifier, I am just pushing all the columns and sorter and why I mean sorted to sort the data. So if they said relational, just you say that you say order by class I, I can use in source qualifier, I can ignore this. Okay, then expression why you're using for the flag flagging purpose. So once flagging is done, you are pushing to the transaction control and you are checking this condition. So once that is done, you are connecting to target. So whenever you create a workflow for this, you execute, so automatically it will generate a files based on the location. So this scenario, may they may ask in the different ways. Suppose they want to generate a file based on the state or they want to generate a file based on the country. So they, will, they can ask in the many ways. So this is the way how to explain the dynamic file generation. But this will be like a very frequently asked question in interviews. So whenever uh, you are going to attend the interview, just always uh, just check this concept thoroughly and go. But I can say that like if you attend 10 interviews out of eight interviews, they may ask this question. Okay. So because we are using such kind of concepts in the real time, so absolutely we touch this, this type of concepts in the interview. Okay. So that's all for today. So we'll see in the next session with a different topic.